Is there anything you'd like to do? I'm open to suggestion. Have a look at our options. I gesture toward my entertainment center, loaded with all manner of mania. My, you have quite a collection. Tiffany looks over my various shelves of anime, games, and manga. How do you find anything in all this? I just remember where I put it. I know it's weird, but it only makes sense to me. I think I get it, but that doesn't make this any easier. I'm recognizing a lot of the games in here. Oh yeah? Do you game much? I have a couple consoles from back home on Earth that I play pretty often. Rhythm games are my favorite, but I rem remember you saying you suck at them. I'm not much use for those. I can't even handle them on a regular controller. <laughs> That's not how they're meant to be played anyway. I like using a dance pad, so I'm not just sitting around. Sometimes I even use it to control regular games. I bet that makes things interesting. Depends on the game. It doesn't work for some genres at all. Like, for instance... Tiffany pulls the title off the shelf and holds it up to show me. It's a zombie survival FPS. <laughs> you play that too? I sure do. I love action and stuff like this. Think we can take on the horde? We can try. We set up the game and get situated for some co-op. Got a difficulty preference? I can handle advanced. Alright, if you say so. We've been playing for a while now. I wasn't sure what to expect at first, but Tiffany has kept up quite well. We hosted our campaign online and were joined by a couple randos. It wasn't until we up or voted up the difficulty that things got hairy. Although the going has been tough, we still managed to get by. Suddenly, a pack of zombies catches me off guard. I'm down in an instant. Tiff, I could use a hand here. On it. I turn my character to face Tiffany's as she approaches to blast away the zombies, only to see her get snared by another one and dragged away. Oops. Should have expected that. With my salvation incapacitated, I turn toward the other players in-game. It seems they disconnected. Their bot replacements are useless, and we're overwhelmed by the de undead in no time. After a connection error, we're booted back to the lobby. Well, so much for that. Sorry I couldn't help you out there. It's okay. I think you did great, all things considered. Wanna take it from the top? Eh, uh, actually, I think I've had enough. Oh, okay. Thanks for playing. You're welcome. We had a good time. Or, a good run. <laughs> yeah, we did. <laughs> I'm just glad I could play it with someone I know for once. Yeah? What do you mean? I just, I'm usually stuck with whoever else is online. So you don't have any other friends who play it, too? To be honest, not really. I don't have very many friends at all. You don't? No way. A nice girl like you? It doesn't matter how nice you are when nobody's listening in the first place. I've always been kind of a misfit. Usually it feels like people just look right through me. And moving here certainly hasn't helped. Tiffany's voice takes a small downward turn. Her mood has dropped considerably. Or noticeably is what it says. I'm not sure what brought this on so suddenly, but I think I'd better say something. Um, uh, what do you mean exactly? Hmm. I'm sorry. I said I wouldn't bother you with my personal problems. Hey, I don't mind. Whatever you need to say, I'm fine with it. It's just, for the longest time, I've always felt worthless. And it's not just because I'm bad at my hobbies. I see it in people's eyes, hear it in the words. The way they treat me, like I'm a hassle or I don't belong. It's as if they take one glance, jump to some conclusions, and leave it at that. Then I can't disprove their assumptions like they've written me off before I even get a chance. Aw, oh, Tiff. I had no idea. You always seem so cheerful. I try my best to be friendly and get along with others and show them how I really am. But it's like I have no voice. I can't make them hear me. How long has this been going on? Almost my whole life. Back where I used to live, I caught it from all sides. My family was well off, but my peers looked down on me, like I didn't deserve to be on their level. And the rest who weren't so fortunate, they resented me. They thought I was stuck up or entitled. Then my family moved here and nobody wanted anything to do with me. I'm just too different from them. That's terrible. You shouldn't be left out like that. You deserve to feel welcome just like everyone else. The club is the closest I've ever been to feeling like I belong. And even there it doesn't seem right. Honestly, I would say lyrics count as literature. Well, Monica sure does. She said literature embodies all kinds of things. And there's nothing stopping you from trying other types, so don't go thinking you have no place there. Also, getting back to that thing about your hobbies, what makes you so sure you're bad at them? Uh, well, it's just the impression I get. Like the songs I try to compose, they just come out so mediocre. Says who? Um, myself? Look, Tiff, you showed me that rap earlier and I thought it was fine. It's the kind of offbeat thing you enjoy. 
And there's nothing wrong with that. So maybe you're your own risk critic here. Okay, but some of it is from experience, too. I haven't made it into a place since grade school back home. That's pretty telling. But didn't you say that was due in part to learning the language? Well, yeah, but... Then don't beat yourself up over it. Of course you'd have a harder time than a native speaker. Right, but it's also because, uh... Because what? My... my appearance. You mean, like, your skin? Hey, it's no use thinking like that. I can't read the minds of whoever was recruiting for those plays. But that's not an assumption you should make. You need to trust they're picking the best person for the role. I know. Deep down, I really do. It's just a question that never stops gnawing at me, Hallie. Whether I've been treated unfairly or I'm just not good enough, it still hurts either way. Hearing her say that, I think I've only scratched the surface of how Tiffany must feel. It's no wonder she has a hard time believing in herself. Who could be sure under those circumstances? Still reeling a bit from her statement, I try to offer some words of encouragement. Well, the way I see it, one of these or one of those things you can't control. But the other one, you can. At least a little. I'm nobody to preach about honing skills. But you should try your hardest and hope for the best, because that's all you can really do. <sighs> I think you're right, Hallie. You have a good head on your shoulders. It's nothing special. No, it's more remarkable than you can imagine. That's what makes you different, Hallie. That's why I appreciate this so much. I wasn't so sure when you armed me at the festival, but... You don't judge or make assumptions. You're respectful and kind. It's more than I've come to expect from most people I meet, and it means a lot to me. Well, Tiff, I'd never do any less. Not just for you, but for anybody. It's common decency, and there's no reason to act otherwise. I wish more people saw it that way. You really are something. Thanks again. For everything. Tiffany gets up and begins to gather her things. Hey, what are you doing? It's been a great time, Hallie, but I need to get back home. My mother doesn't know I'm here, and I don't want her to worry. Ah, okay. I follow Tiffany out to say farewell. Catch you another time, Hallie. It was really cool of you to have me over to visit. Don't sweat it. I'm just glad I could make you feel more at home. If you ever want to drop by again, you know where to find me. You're always welcome here. <laughs> That's good to know. I'll definitely take you up on it. Until then. Tiffany goes on her way, leaving me with just my thoughts. I can't help but feel bad for her, knowing how lonely she must be. Is this the other reason she smokes? I push it from my mind. There's plenty of time left in the day, and it's no use dwelling on it. A few hours go by. I've been killing time playing more of the FPS from earlier. It's not as much fun without her. I suppose she's right that it's better with people, you know. No sooner had I quit the game when I was alerted by a knock at my front door. Who could that be? If it was Sayori, she would have just come inside. I head out to see who's there. Tiff, you're back. Did you forget something? Nah, Hallie. I just wanted to see you again. There's kind of something I'd like to talk to you about. Do you mind if I come in? Uh, sure. Yeah, get in here. I step aside and let Tiffany back in. I can't help but wonder what it is this time. Tiffany walks into the kitchen and has a seat at the table. Her eyes follow me lazily. I sit down to join her, thinking of what to ask first. So... So, Holly, I'm sorry to drop in on you out of the blue like this. And I apologize if this is too forward of me. I just feel a bit odd today. Okay. Tiff, what's this about? Hold on, are you high again? Holly, you didn't think I'd get over that in a single day, did you? I hope you don't blame me for feeling anxious. I've never really done this before. Done what? Tiff, just what do you have in mind here? Oh, Holly, the thing is... I'm... I'm kinda into you. And I'm wondering if you aren't kinda into me, too. You're... into me? Yeah, I really, really like you. Like, maybe even that way. That way? Uh... Sorry, but why? I'm not sure what you see in me. Are you kidding? There's hardly a downside to you. Yeah, right. Like, I'm not good with words. I can't rap. Anyone can rap if they try. But I can't dance either. I'm awful at it. <laughs> There's no reason you couldn't learn. You're even better than me at video games. Face it, I'm a no-talent loser. That isn't true, and even if it was, it wouldn't bother me. I'm not completely sure what it is myself, but something about you speaks to me in a way I've never felt before. I can just tell you're someone special, so I had to ask. Do you feel it too? 
Terrifying. I don't know. What's the matter? Is there a problem? I, uh... Is it something about me? Tiff, I don't... I don't want. Lay it on me, Hallie. I can handle it. There are plenty of reasons to dislike me. Just take your pick. Hey, hold on. Don't get ahead of yourself. First of all, I think you're a likable person. Not likable enough, apparently. Stop. You have no reason to get all down on yourself. Then why, Hallie? What do you think is wrong with me? It's not you! Just let me finish! For starters, I don't know how I feel yet. You kind of just sprung this on me. Okay, that's fair. And you see, the thing is... I think you're rushing into this. Uh, Tiff, you're incredibly nice, and it's been wonderful spending time with you. But it hasn't even been a week. We only met a few days ago. I don't know what it is you're feeling. But a connection like that needs time to grow. Do you understand? Yeah, you're right. I'm sorry. I think I let desperation get the better of me. I got a crazy thought in my head and just ran with it. It's alright. I just don't want to give you the wrong idea. It's not like I'm uninterested. I'd be crazy not to give it a chance. And I'm flattered to hear you like me that much. But we need to wait a little bit longer before we make anything official. Though if I'm being honest, the drug use is pretty unsettling. That I understand completely. I know I should quit for my own good. I really uh, rely on it too much. But things haven't really gotten any easier for me either. Tiff, I get it. The social anxiety and... No, Hallie. I said there's more to it. I didn't tell you why I started. And I kind of feel like I owe it to you now. Are you sure? I won't force it out of you. Yes, I'm sure. Who knows? Maybe it'd help to get it off my chest. I mentioned how my mother started smoking after we moved, and that I did as well a few years later. But the reason she did it and the reason we moved are one and the same. Back then, we were trying to get out of a bad situation. Our country had just elected its first black president, and people in my area got bitter. Real bitter. Shortly after, my dad got pulled over by a crooked cop, and things got out of hand. He was arrested? Hallie. He was killed. What? Oh no. Tip, I'm so sorry. It was very long ago. I'd say I'm over it, but that sort of thing never really leaves you. At the time, we were devastated. He was everything to us, and we were in a real mess without him. My mother was terrified that we would be next. She caught us out of there as quick as she could. We fled halfway around the world just to leave it all behind. Back then, I was too young to understand. I couldn't imagine why anyone would ever do that to another person. As I grew up, I came to realize, not just the reason why, but... That it's something I might never fully escape from. There's so much needless hate out there. It was all I could do to numb that feeling and just try to forget it. Tiv. That's so horrible. That should never have happened to you or your family. I just do my best to get by. Live and let live. I can't control how people are, so I try to keep to myself. That's unbelievable. Anybody who thinks like that is so beyond ignorant. If that's what they're really like, then they're the ones who deserve to be hated. No, Halle, don't you see? If your hatred forms a cycle, two wrongs don't make a right. I just wish people would all treat each other as people. Tiffany's statement hits me like a punch in the gut. I'm completely stunned. For her to have been through all that and still feel this way. Yeah, you're right. More anger doesn't solve anything. I'm just sorry that happened to you in the first place. It's a dreadful, ugly thing. But you know, if it hadn't happened... I never would have met you or gotten to join the club. Not saying it wasn't bad, just counting my blessings is all. Well, I'm certainly glad to have you around, and I think the others are warming up to you as well. I'm really sorry to hear you've had it so rough, but now you have a club full of friends you can count on. Thank you, Hallie. I feel like things are starting to look up for me. And I'm so grateful that y'all accept me as I am. It's the least we can do. If nothing else, you're all right by us. <laughs> That's reassuring. Anyway, I think I'd better get going. 
Thanks for having me over again. Hey, I told you any time, didn't I? <laughs> you sure did. Tiffany gets up and makes her way to the door. I follow her outside. See you in the club on Monday. I'll be there, but if you want to drop by sooner, <laughs> we could always try that campaign again. I'm sure we'll get him next time. <laughs> but hey, before I go... <laughs> Sorry, I just couldn't resist. Tiffany waves goodbye and sets off down the street. Thinking back on our discussion, it's also astonishing to me how she was treated before and the tragedy, be tragedy that befell her family. I guess she was doing more than just taking the edge off. As the evening drags on, I can't get her off my mind. It's a shame about her habit, but it's understandable in a sad sort of way. She said she really liked me. Can I grow to feel the same way about her? If there's anything I can do, it will have to wait for now. It's almost time for bed. Tiffany, you have a place where you belong. Well, I missed the skip button. Uh, Tiff. Oh gosh, were you as shocked as I was? It feels like this club is just a magnet for troubled teens. I don't condone drug use for almost any reason. And now I know why she wears so much perfume. But I understand her explanation. Social anxiety can be difficult to manage. Though it seems she has even more going on than that. As if the drug problem wasn't enough, she has family issues too. It must have been so hard for her, losing a parent and moving to a new country. Either one would be tough to deal with alone. I can only imagine how she must have felt. And the way she's treated, overlooked, ignored, it's all so sad. But really, what Tiff wants isn't anything that's demanding. To just be liked and treated the same as everyone else. Hallie was right, you know. It's common decency, what all people deserve. Of course, no one of that will ever fix her past. All right. <sighs> so that's Tiff's route. And there's only one route left to do. Goodness gracious. But we do have time to start it, so we're gonna go. Shiro, your time has come. Uh, well, let's we'll start with Rot. Hey, that's the word for you. How about that? Aegis. Uh, good grief. Uh, I think rarity is him. Yeah, because it's like rare drops in games. Yeah. Uh, is he compete? No, that's Monica. She is competitive by my estimation, though. Sword. Gosh, ugh. I didn't mean to choke up quite so much reading Tiff's little ending there, but like, I couldn't help it, man. I just couldn't. Uh, yeah, like, it's actually intentional that she doesn't really cry in that scene because, uh, it's like, it's a really old wound for her. Uh, it's something that she's come to terms with the, for such a long time that, like, she can discuss it that way without getting overly emotional, but it doesn't mean it's any less heavy, you know? Uh, well, I'm like, I'm trying to talk in zero words right now, good god. How about reality? Yeah, he'll jump once for that. Uh, annihilate with him? Mm-hmm. Oh, goodness. He should jump for... Though I do have to be careful not to pick too many Monica words that he overlaps with. Uh, fat would have been Tiff, but we didn't see it at any time. Or oh, is that Technical. Hi, Technical. Uh, wizard. Uh, is Meta him? I think Meta's Monica. Uh, let's see. Recompense. Battle. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Grandeur. Not a concerning word. Grin. He's got a big one. Uh, artificial? Is it artificial? I don't think it is. Maybe it is. Artificial? No. Uh, irony is him. Because of the irony of a stereotypical VN fan as a date option in a VN. Uh, not harmony. That's about the spell. Like a magic spell. Uh, warrior. There we go. The sure route is underway.